Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So per Shams, the Miami Heat are expected to be a prominent suitor for Bradley Beal if he reaches the market. Now, before we start getting into big trades and superstars and all-stars, to me, I just think that the Miami Heat have to improve their roster before they really focus on superstars. And what I mean by that is more guys who are not one-dimensional, you know, guys who are not specialists, guys that are not just three-point shooters or just known for one thing. The Miami Heat, since the 2020 bubble, have lacked size. And I'm talking about adequate size, not, you know, uh, Dwayne Dedman, Kevin Love, Cody Zeller, all these other scrubby big men. I just think that the Miami Heat need to get a versatile four next to Bam Adebayo because, in my opinion, having Caleb Martin play the four was absolutely disrespectful to Bam Adebayo. Why? Because Caleb Martin's too small. You're forcing him to do things that's not his game. So, in my opinion, you have to have a well-versed four next to Bam Adebayo to help rebound, defend, block shots. Now... In terms of the five, he also needs a backup five. I don't think that Dwayne Dedman at all was a serviceable backup five behind Bam Adebayo. If Bam Adebayo does not have a good backup five behind him, Bam Adebayo is forced now to play extra minutes throughout an 82-game series. I just think that's unacceptable. I just think the Miami Heat, they have to improve their roster. We need guys who are athletic, guys who can score the ball, guys who can score easy. You know, and guys with size, in my opinion. I just think that we need those main things. This is the NBA. We need guys with strength, size, mobility, and a versatile overall game in terms of rebounding and defending. They can do a little bit of everything. I'm not saying that you can't have your specialist because, in my opinion, we'll probably be stuck with Duncan Robinson. But I'm okay with losing Max Struess. I'm okay with losing Gabe Vincent if the price is too high on their end. In terms of Bradley Beal, I think that Bradley Beal would be a solid asset. You know, overall, he is a little bit older and 29 years old. He's still he's still there, but he's he is getting a little bit older Um, in terms of his stats. The past two seasons, he's only played 50 and 40 games. He does have some type of an injury problem year after year. And over the past, actually, four years in 2019, he played 57 games in 2020. He played 60, 2021. He played 40 and 2022. He played 50 last season. He averaged 23.2 points. 3.9 rebounds, and 5.4 assists. Now, obviously, our best trade asset is Tyler Hero. It's going to probably take Tyler Hero and some picks, but that's if the Washington Wizards, one, want to really gut out their whole roster and start all over, and Bradley Beal is going to have to request the Miami Heat. The Wizards are obviously going to have to honor Bradley Beal's request. Why? Because there's other teams that have better trade packages than the Miami Heat. I wouldn't mind Bradley Beal on this team, but like I said, at a fair price, only because Bradley Beal is on an absurd contract. I think he's on like a $200 million contract. That's a lot of money. So not only are the Miami Heat going to have to shed some of their salary with Kyle Lowry, Duncan Robinson, hopefully we can shed some of the salary off. But in return, I'm hoping that the Wizards will at least give us a fair deal because we're taking on a huge contract over the next few years. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want Bradley Beal on this team? What do you guys think that we should trade for him? Tyler Hero, some picks. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.